Hot damn, here we go with another good one. Breaker, breaker, four, nine. Anyone live? Come on. Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. What a lovely morning of barking, new neighbor dogs, and sirens. Just makes you wanna drink your coffee and enjoy life. Coffee cups are on order to add to the old store, by the way. So do y'all remember Lucy? Yeah, Lucy, she's the 64 Ford. We went and picked her up out of a field. Oh yeah, she's moving some. We're arcing and sparking, baby. Oh, that's good. So let me ask you this. Do you really need brakes to drive? Come on, Stumbly Joe. Let's go, baby. There we go. Oh, we're going. We're going. Come on. Yeah, so we got her running, driving. I can't say stopping because them brakes, they're non-existent, okay? No brakes, but I didn't have any time to keep tinkering with her that day. So, there's more sirens. For today, we're probably just gonna focus on getting her all cleaned up. I'll get all the parts ordered, work the next two damn days, then on Friday, we'll get her tuned up. Saturday, Sunday, I'll do some editing, and Monday, you guys will be enjoying this. Now, before we pressure wash this unit, I wanna clean out the inside, because honestly, the inside could use pressure, pressure washed out too. So we'll bring it in, vacuum out all the loose stuff, get the big stuff out, and yeah, give her pressure washing. There's only one damn thing in that cab that's worth protecting that can't get wet. That's our CB radio. That's because we gotta see if we can pick anyone up with the damn thing. <laughs> that's the most exciting part of this video. Damn truckers probably got talk to text on their damn wrist now. They probably don't even queue in on a CB anymore, quitters. Yeah, baby. Slap on that ground. Slap on this ground. Slap on this ground. Slap on this, baby. Let's see if she wants to fire up for us. Mind the flat tire, okay? When you got the torque of a locomotive, it don't matter. Don't mind the little bit of smoke she was shooting. You may assume that's coming from the engine. I'm gonna assume it's coming from a rat's nest. Uh, in the exhaust or something. Motor's perfect. We get it turned up all the way and we'll send some fluids down through her and see if we can't help her do a little, uh... We'll just send some transmission fluid through her and see if we can't help her uh, freshen up her own insides, if you know what I'm saying. Still the best part of the truck. First thing we're gonna do is clean out the bed, which there's plenty of wheels and tires back here. My chiropractor loves me. Ugh. I wish I could find a decent set of wheels and tires to slap on this thing, but I've already spent too much money buying it. I'm in the hole on this one. Ugh. Especially if I break my elbow, damn. Found another snail right there. Snail mail. Ugh. Get, get. I can't tell if there's air in this damn thing or if this rubber's so hard you can't budge it. 
Looks like someone was doing some burnouts with this baby. The bed feels about how you expect an old farm truck to kind of feel, I guess. Solid. Damn! Look at that nail right there. Holy railroad spike. Look at that thing. Luckily this bed's full of nails and everything else, so it's a good thing we did burnouts and flew around in the old field with the missing tailgate. Got an old center cap. Just playing. That's a lid for one of them popcorn cans that come with 3,000 pounds of popcorn at Christmas time. Old cheater pipe for your boomers. See how you smash the end that way it can fit down over the handle. Yep, cheater pipe right there, guaranteed. That comes with the truck. We need to mount that in the gun rack. Syringe for giving your cows a shot in the butt. Uh, T-post ties right there for doing fence. This truck's probably seen a lot of fencing, keeping the cows in. You don't want your cows to get out of the barn. That's a metaphor for your private coming out of your jeans. You don't want your cow out of the barn. You also don't want them getting out of your fence. I also don't know if that's a metaphor. Simile? Simile uses like or as. English? Not my best subject. They so stay with the truck. One, because I don't know what this is. Two, this is the original cheater pipe that came with this truck, okay? Without this, this truck's use, useless, all right? Worthless. Now we're gonna try to do some magnet fishing. I know y'all seen them videos. Guy goes fishing with earth magnet, finds Blackbeard's pistol in the Pot County River. Your videos are fake, all right? They're fake. All of that's what's probably laying in my field right now. I think that's about it. I'll tell you, we had a pretty good day of fishing myself. Now granted, we didn't find George Washington's original weed eater like these guys find in rivers, but we found some good solid stuff. She's just old long bed Ford. She's a piece of shit with a custom floor. Damn, that is heavy. All right, I think that's it on the bed. Not a very exciting bed clean out. We didn't find nothing good. Common sense would have told us to roll this over here from the start and dump it in here. And today I wanted to think with my ass instead of my brain. So now I've got a, it was just right there. Y'all drink plenty of water this summer, all right? I'm not asking, I'm telling. Y'all stay hydrated. Put the Coke down and the soda pop. <laughs> X-rated dad joke. What mirrors are these from? 80s or 90s? Thankfully, they did not bolt these things on. Got a pair of these. One's broke, okay? But these are genuine Putin's Fab Shop mirrors. I'll put them for sale on the website. I'm just joking, I ain't throwing that on the website, but here's an idea I had, y'all hear me out, okay? I did start think, I did think about taking an item from every vehicle we drag in, like this one. We had two center caps. I gave one to my buddy Carlos to hang on his wall. I was thinking, what if I cleaned this thing up, autographed it, threw in a few stickers, like a little small merchandise pack with it, and put it up for sale on the website. There's only one, so the first one to get it gets it. Just thought it may be fun to do one item per vehicle get the light on in here in case I find some critters that want to play. That might be the item I keep from this truck. I like that. We got our door handle. No shortage of trash. Speaking of trash, this whole seat is trash. Old spark pluggy. More railroad spikes. All right, this thing's new old stock right there. I will sell that baby cheap. 
some tweezers and a pencil in the old ashtray. Get that gone. We get this a little more sanitary. We are going to try out the old Johnson Messenger 123A right there. One thing I've noticed about this Ford that I think is pretty cool is how they put the emblem in the seat. Mostly just trash. Getting the old floor mat special here in Oklahoma. Not the first truck I've seen where when your floor pans start to go, you just keep laying floor mats in there to try to build a floor. I don't know what's older, this damn plug or the truck. Holy hell. Right in here is where the rat used to live. I'm gonna vacuum this out and hopefully he ain't still up there. That was gross. <coughs> when I'm telling y'all that did not smell good, that did not smell good. Boy, I had to get out of there and let that air out some. Hell, I ain't crying, you're crying. That was definitely his little hidey hole right there. Vacuumed around the bolts, or studs, or nuts, whatever the hell you wanna call them, for the seat. Let's see if we can't get this thing pulled out. Sprayed it down with some luby dooby. That's right, come on. At least we had a couple old snare traps hanging on the gun rack. All right, we'll go do, we can get this baby polished up. We get it running good. We might have to get a couple permits, go do a little trapping down by the creek. Couple things worth checking out on this side. One, our original wire right there. That was for our uh, bed lights. Well, make sure to run her back and zip her to your old uh, fuel hose pickup right there for the tank. Oh, someone had asked if this was silicone den. I don't know if that's silicone den or if that's just a factory sealant that is baked out of there maybe. And then two, how about we see how bad our floor pans are? That got us these. Let's see why we have these nice custom units in here. Oh yeah, she's good. Slight pinhole right here. Well, some of you guys from up north are like, hell you call that rust? I eat shit like that for breakfast. I've done patch 17 floor pans before I even let the cup of joe push that crap through me and sit on the shitter in the morning. I done patch 17 floor pans before I even take my morning poo poo. Y'all down there call that rust? Hey, I'm not jealous of you guys. All right, I don't like rust. That's why I try to buy vehicles without rust. When y'all see stuff like this and you're like, Psh, that ain't nothing. Y'all can have it. I'm not jealous one bit. This would not be that hard to fix though, really. Uh, luckily it looks kind of well contained up in the tow board area. Body mounts are overrated. I'm trying to vacuum this shit out, but I'm tired of having to unclog this vacuum. We'll let the old pressure washer take care of the rest. Before we pressure wash this thing, I want to figure out uh, if she's worth protecting or not. Woo! <laughs> All right. Let's wire her up real quick. Ran us a quick wire out to the old battery. Breaker, breaker, four, nine, come on. This here's the pudding tang, that's my name. Anybody out there, come on. Breaker, breaker, four, nine, anyone live, come on. Hello, this is pudding, is anyone out there? Hello, anybody read me? 
Anybody read me at all? Alpha, Bravo, Delta, Charlie, Foxtrot. We got anybody out there on the old radio? You can call me the rubber duck. Come on. Come in, come in, come in. Hello, hello, anyone on the radio? Boy, I'm glad I ain't stranded on a damn desert island with this thing. Is there anybody out there? I wouldn't reply to my singing neither, hell. Just answer. I just need somebody to talk to. Hello, this is Puddin, and I'll be your flight attendant on today's flight. We'll be flying first class in the 64 Ford F100. Rusted floor pans for extra breeze or a plus. <laughs> Nothing. Hello. I cannot believe no one's on the radio. This is Puddin' Tang. I done went through 23 channels, and I'm signing off disappointed. Way to let me down, guys. Come on. Can't win them all, I reckon. That's disappointing. How about we just leave it out for the power washing? That makes sense. I think we about got her ready for a pressure washing. And I'll be honest, this thing was parked over on that hill. I didn't even know this tire was flat. And then when I drove it in here, when you got the torque of a damn army tank, it don't even matter. You don't even tell you have a flat tire till you get in there and realize you're sitting sideways. And my bad. <laughs> She's a little tall. She's a little tall. Boy, I guess I just realized I ain't got a lot of stuff around here to sit on. I think that's because sitting on your ass won't finish your project. <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there? You damn right. Perfect seat. Now it's time for my favorite thing to do. Pressure washing. Take this original decal off the valve cover because I know it's going to fall off anyhow. Anything else on this thing's free reign, all right? I'm opening doors, glove box. I'm blasting it to hell. I'm going to throw some of this uh, get gone degreaser, get gone, uh, by Sweet Patina. It's available at sweetpatina.com along with all their other cleaning products and be sure to use that promo code on the screen if you decide to go try it out. Let them know that Puddin's Fab Shop sent you. Yeah, we're just gonna give it a decent soaking. I'm gonna go eat me some lunch, get me a happy belly, and we're gonna try out some pressure washing. Good day for it, just nice and rainy all damn day. She's gonna clean up good, by the way. I was starting to get hot, so Mother Nature turned on sprinkle mode to cool me off. A lot of y'all probably didn't catch it, okay? I know that was a fast time lapse, but during that time, I actually pulled this engine out, took it, went ahead and rebuilt the carburetor. You can see how much cleaner it is now. Okay, rebuilt that, got it put on. You can tell because it's perfectly clean. And all the way down even to the bottom, got all that gunk gone. Holy hell. Hey. You put the red tip on this baby, and that's kill mode, okay? You turn this son of a bitch into a water jet right there. I'm lucky I didn't cut that block in half. This side, same thing. That whole thing was just covered in gunk, and now look at it. That's a Pot County rebuild right there. Yeah, y'all used to that O'Reilly's rebuild where you rattle can it. Out here, we just pressure wash it, and I tell you that tank, or that block's half empty, or uh, half empty, half painted, because we had to... We had her tested for cracks. We dipped the block. We didn't get any paint on it, you know. But she is rebuilt, promise. Gotta put the wide tip back on here and finish cleaning up some of these hoses and rinse this off. Thought I was gonna have to move y'all inside, which is why I started talking to you. But it looks like it's gonna quit raining again, which is good. I can leave the camera out here. One, it's mail time. Mail's here. Two, it's time to wash inside this puppy. Give it hell. 
Luckily we got built-in drains right here, so it's not near as bad in here as you think. I probably maybe should have sort of, kind of, could have used to pull the old headliner out. We'll get to it, I reckon. I'll tell how tall my new tripod is. I feel like I'm about to whoop the hell out of the Rock Dwayne Johnson. I wish he would step to me once. Maybe y'all can tell by the different changing skies and maybe it was bright earlier and now it's cloudy. Oklahoma's in a mood. Now there's a perfect example. That cloud will rain. That cloud or lack of clouds right there will cook your ass. Got inside underneath the hood, the bed, now we need to do the outside, but told y'all drink water. I gotta get some water. Decided to rip out the old headliner real quick, and I'm kind of glad I did. As you can see, found another rat's little honey hole. So got our old floor pan here. That's because I want to get that without just spilling it everywhere. Or we could use the dust pan that's attached to this. <laughs> Smells terrible again. Yeah. I kept the dome light. Everything else is trash. Mama and the girls are home. Oh, no. Never mind. I just seen cars. Because they ain't. Now the girls are home. What you got your belly hanging out for? I'm freaking pregnant. You don't look pregnant. You better be careful what you say for it ends up in the video. Yeah. Hey, Hot Rod. Did you get you a Happy Meal? Yeah. Did it make you happy? No. 
this is what we call backtracking and I don't like backtracking. Get that loud ass garbage truck out of here. Man, Sonic's from the same town, originally. All right, Shawnee, Oklahoma. They ain't sponsored me yet. Y'all tag them and everything. Tell them to sponsor me, damn it. I want all the unsweet peach teas I can drink and put long chili cheese dogs. Please don't pull up here. I don't want to talk to you. I ain't being rude. Just drive on. You like cheddar peppers from the Sonic? Look how much the surface rust we're blasting off. So I did here over. Look how much darker that is. You finish pressure washing this side, and we'll get some sauce on her. Thank goodness, we're finally done with that crap. That is hands down the longest pressure wash I've done so far. Every nook and cranny. Boy, if I had a lift, lift I could lag to this grass out here, I would just, I'd get the bottom side too, damn it. Some's coming back red. Some's staying kind of foggy. I'm staying with the fact that I don't give a damn. This is good enough for now. Here's a real good example. Not all this foggy looking crap will come off. We're going to let the patina sauce take care of that. Because this thing is beat to hell. It don't necessarily have a straight panel on it anywhere really. So how much are we going, how much time are we going to spend trying to make that just beautiful. When the patina sauce will do the work for us. Just as comfortable as I remember her being. All right, Lucy. I know y'all still doubting old Lucy here. We're gonna wipe her with some patina sauce. That way y'all can see how good she is. Now, speaking of sweet patina, I did just cheat on his product not too long ago and use some of this foam and stuff because sometimes it's easier to get into areas, but we ain't gonna tell him that. Shh. I'm actually running low on my patina sauce finally. One bottle I've had this whole time. We've done like 11,000 cars with it. I've showed y'all this several times, so we're not gonna do the whole truck in the video. I'm gonna show you a few key spots. One, we're gonna see how she does with the old sticker here since it's my favorite part of the truck. Oh yeah, that's worth keeping on there. Next, we're gonna try a spot kind of like so where you can see the old faded whatever is going on and the red. I did not add any more to my rag, by the way. So the differences are still there. It just makes it a lot harder to tell. There's a couple different colors going on. It's like right there. We're gonna try the top right here just cause there's so many different colors going on. Just makes it look good, am I right? We'll be able to do the grill guard and everything on this one. Quick little spot on the hood. Do the Bondo. Try our other sticker right here. So there you go. Couple quick examples if you wanna darken this stuff up. 
a little bit, preserve it, do everything that this stuff does. You can read about it on their website at thesweetpatina.com and I done told y'all use that promo code. I'm gonna wipe down this whole truck and you're really gonna see how much it helps on a vehicle as a whole. Not as good as I was hoping, I ain't gonna lie. Lucy's a little difficult. That being said, Lucy still looks a hundred times better than when we first picked her up. Let's take a quick glance. Like I said, sauce the bumpers up. You can just see how she has a little more of a sheen to her. Darkens up. She looks pretty good. Of course, I got the damn truck half in shadow, half in the sun, so that's good. Come on back here, though, and you can see how she, uh, Hell, I even hit the back bumper. Hell with it. Makes her look better. A little better. So, yes, you really can polish a turd because the thing's kind of a turd. It's rusted. It's got Bondo. Every panel has a dent in it somewhere. But for some reason, I like it. I feel like this is a truck that you could work the hell out of and not feel bad one bit and look half cool doing it. Here's the deal. That truck whipped me, all right? Whipped me left and right, up and down, all over. Took me way longer to get it cleaned up and sauced up than I thought it would. I need to run to O'Reilly's. I need to get the parts where we can tune her up. Carb kit, fuel pump, whatever else I ordered. Someone, allegedly, ordered me some, some stuff into there. Let's just say I know the manager and he sent me a text, said someone from New York, possibly. I don't know, we'll find out, okay? I need to clean up my mess. I do got a couple packages we're gonna open and then look at me, okay? I'm filthy, I'm ready to call it a day. Not a whole lot of stuff, four things. So you male haters, you'll be okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. I don't get it. I don't know. It's weird. I'm not showing it. Seeing guys shirtless don't bother me. Sending me shirtless pictures, that starts to get a little weird. Maybe I'm wrong here. I ain't trying to piss no one off. I'm just saying. <laughs> Turn retro. I do not see a name on here as far as who it's from. Looks a lot like that one. But, do not worry. I almost put that other one over on that cabinet because I've got an international sign over there and I was going back and forth. So guess what? Now I can have them in both spots. I call that a victory. I'm not sure who sent that, but thank you. You damn right. You can never have enough brake clean. I mentioned that in my video I posted yesterday and I've had this for a while that I was out of brake clean. That means someone was reading my mind out there. Pudding, you know you need it. Keeping it clean from Bill Rise, your second cousin once removed. <laughs> Thanks, cousin Bill. You know I'll use it. We'll definitely use it. Ow! Ooh. That caster does not move when you hit it with your damn big toe. Hey, Pudding. I've been called out. Here are some items you might need for those times you are being you and hurt yourself right after I stubbed my big toe. <laughs> I hope you don't have to use any of it, but you have it in case. And that's for Nancy, because I did kind of call her out. Let's see. Eye wash, as I pressure washed the truck earlier with no eye protection. Got some SpongeBob 100 counts. If Hot Rod sees these, she puts band-aids on stuff that don't need band-aids. It just makes it feel better. Just ask her. <laughs> Got some big ones. Damn, 
I hope I don't need these things. If I need to use these, I'm going to the to the emergency room. You planning on me taking a finger off or what? We got enough wrap, we could set up a, a blood drive, okay? Y'all come on down to Pudding's blood drive. I'm not sending you a urine sample. That ain't happening, okay? It's actually an eyewash cup. I got just the place for all this stuff, Nancy. Well, that's the reason it's called the Nancy cabinet. She's the first one to ever send me band-aids. This door's been too bare for too long. That's pretty legit, I'm just saying. We'll be back on it Friday morning. Friday morning, see y'all then. Do you see what happens when you go to work around here for two days? How much stuff can show up? Holy heck. Guys, we're having a crazy week of rain again. A lot of rain. So you can see how the potato sauce looks after it kind of dries some. And yeah, I've had her sitting out in the rain. But you can see how she holds her color. It does kind of dull out once it dries up. It don't always stay so glossy looking. They get her pulled in. Got two different carburetor kits and a fuel pump. I didn't take the plug wires back, so. Now, I didn't get spark plugs. May have kind of sort of forgot. Oh well. We're gonna see if we can't get around a little better. First, we're gonna start with pulling the carburetor off, get it rebuilt. I did notice even just driving it from out there to in here, that nice big hole in the floor now is perfect for letting a nice cool breeze through to keep your old left foot for uh, stomping that clutch nice and cool. And I forgot to get a ground cable. It'll be all right. Pulling the carburetor should be simple enough. Little choke action. What we got for throttle here? Damn. That baby has some torque on it. I tell you guys what, if I pull my head out of my ass, this carburetor will come off a lot easier. I'm not even removing the bolts for the damn carburetor. <laughs> it helps when you actually take the nut off the carburetor. I was pulling the nuts off these studs for some reason. Told y'all several times I'm not a carburetor guy, all right? I've definitely never been into one of these. I don't even know what it is. Kind of feel like I should have left this thing alone. See? We got some yummy stuff in there. We got some floaters, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right. Put a little... Pull the old accelerator pump. Well, she's crunchy, nice and stiff. Put some of this old brake cleaner to use real quick. I think our passage that goes through into the bowl. Uh, it may have been a little clogged up. The wire brush action. One's 50 bucks and one's 36 bucks. So we're hope hoping for the $36 unit. It is not that. So hopefully that's the expensive one. You damn right. That's how you save 15 bucks like that. Yeah, that ain't it either. Well, it looks like I had to cheat on my O'Reilly's. I did find the O'Reilly's part number, but they weren't gonna be able to get it till tomorrow morning. Napa had one in stock. Well, look at that, we get some instructions. Slap our accelerator pump back in. This is random as hell, but just so you know, I may have my art guy 
working on a Puddin's Park at a Market logo right now. I'll just say I'm excited, all right? I'm excited. I hope it turns out great. I'd love to show you all the before sketch that I sent them, just to show you how good my art guy is. Pull the old power valve. I think that port may have been clogged up too. Got her with the pick and then with the brake clean. Slap the new one on for all the power. I want all the power, baby. Take a look, see at her upper half here. The float comes off that simple. Old seal out. Drop that new baby in. And torque it, but not hurt it, all right? You gotta be gentle with these things, all right? Like you love them. Jet's clear. She's really not too dirty, guys. Uh, that accelerator pump was dry. I think we may have had one one or two little spots kind of clogged, so hopefully that's her little short, flat spot, but she ain't bad. She ain't bad. That's as far as I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna hope and pray that the rest is good to go. Slap these screws back in and we'll be good to go. There we go, she's perfect, all right? Last thing we're worried about around here is appearance. You want people to think you got a junky old factory one barrel never been touched. That way when you put that pedal to that floorboard and you whip that ass, they're caught off guard, all right? That's how you do it right here. See if we can't get these installed since some jackass pulled them. So you speed up that process. Quick little cleanup on that baby right there and I trust it more than those little paper thin gaskets they give us. Be sure to get our throttle linkage in. There we go. Sit her down on there. All right. Got her bolted down, get her vacuum. Guess we can put the fuel line back on since we're gonna swap out the fuel pump, get rid of the old electrical. Some dummy forgot to put a spring back in here. So I take off that old clip, put the spring in, put one of the new clips on. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm gonna end up giving away our camouflage. They see all these new parts. You trying to trick me, man? Is that carburetor rebuilt? Say, like, hell no, it ain't rebuilt. You wanna run them or not, all right? I got ass whipping for days. Don't worry about what's done to my damn carburetor. Trying to line up for a pink slip or what? Poker face is half the battle, all right? You hit them with that, they ain't gonna line up against you, not in this bad son of a. This is the most fuel efficient vehicle we've done so far. I didn't even top this thing all the way off and I have not put gas in this thing once. So this baby, besides being able to whip it on the drag strip, tow it like a locomotive, it also gets better gas mileage than a new hybrid. That's the quick release fuel pump system. Now that this coil ain't sharing uh, power with the fuel pump, she's gonna be three times as hot. Let's go ahead and get these pieces of craps out of my way. How about that? That being full of water ain't gonna help us. Guarantee you that. That was easier than a small block Chevy, damn. This comes with a tapper plate built in, so it sounds like it tap dances. Let's hope I got the right fuel pump at least. It's got a tapper plate on it anyhow. We got it in and an out, simple enough. This tapper don't tap so easy. Let's go slap this baby back on, huh? The more I mess with these Fords, the more I like them. I gotta be honest. I 
that's a pretty healthy amount. Fuel system should be good to go. Some of y'all said you like to remember it as 15's too young, 36 is too old, 24 is just right. I'm gonna have to disagree with that. 15's too young, 36 may be old enough. And who the hell wants the drama of a 24 year old? I've always liked older women, I'm just saying. That's why Ashley's a few years older than me. I like my women like I like my old cars. Durable, roadworthy, proven. May have some miles on them. Guaranteed to get the job done every time though. All them new ones are always breaking down. Get, they got recalls because they got problems. Yeah, take some notes here, especially you younger guys. Now, is that what a plug wire supposed to feel like? Get us new coil wire. This baby should be good to go. Slap our grounds on. I'm gonna use some precision here and fill up that carb ball through the vent right there, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Besides making a damn mess. I bet we're good. If this thing backfires from all that ga gas we just spilled, we'll know it. With the speed of a gazelle. Who caught it? Let's just say the accelerator pump wasn't pumping, okay? That's because I had the gasket upside down and I had it blocked off. And y'all's right there. That's because I had the gasket upside down and had that blocked off. Dumbass. It's all right, everyone makes mistakes. put it together the correct way that was not a bad idle uh, guys when I rebuilt a carburetor on a symmetrical gasket like that even though it may have that one little difference it's always good to just put it together the wrong way the first time just that way you know if you need it to seal that way it will and then after you rebuild it then you flip the gasket and then you get it running uh, just that way you, you test your gasket you know you have a good one you know what I mean I think what I'm trying to say is don't be a damn idiot like me and pay attention to that the first time. That's what I mean. Let's top this baby off with some water. Again. Coil hot. <laughs> Sounding like either the starter may be hanging up a little bit or it could have a possible couple worn down teeth. Somebody order a three-quarter race cam. Come on, baby. You damn right. Way easier to drive. Before, I'd have it kind of revved. It'd be flat spotting. Motor would be missing. You ease out on the clutch a little too quick. It'll die. Now you can just dump the clutch and it won't even die. It's got enough low end to just take you. Uh, I still want to lubricate the inside of this motor in the form of sending some trans fluid through it. I know you four guys are picky, so we're going to use type F. The F stands for freak yeah, we're about to do a smoke show. Transmission fluid is just good for cleaning up old engines that's been sitting. The seat doubles as a wheel chalk. I think the smoke's going to come out of this side, so I'm just going to, like I said, idle it up, pour it. Hopefully we'll get some of the smoke show on the camera. It 
maybe smoking a little bit. Radio check, radio check. Ashley's over there shaking her head at me like I'm an idiot. Radio check, 1379 Breaker Delta Alpha. We got a peach on the loose. She's walking towards the back of the Yukon, y'all. Oh yeah, just ease out, she don't die. It has been raining. Oh, big rig. Come in, come in, come in. Copy, does anyone have a copy? Oh, first gear takeoff, so much better. Just, she's cherry. I don't know if you can see the water flinging off that tire, but it is soft back here. She's way better. I still ain't saying she's perfect, I'm just saying she's way better. Spinning? I think we're spinning. Oh, we're spinning for sure. It is nasty back here. Of course, as you drive this thing, you're gonna find problems, right? I mean, we all know that. That's part of having an old vehicle, old project. But I think if someone would put some damn brakes on this damn thing, you'd have a pretty decent truck to start with. It is freaking wet back here. I tried to just crawl up that in first gear slow. Had to back up and take it with a little momentum. Keep her in second. There she is, guys. That's her all cleaned up. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this thing. I thought maybe I'd use it as a work pickup. But I think I have a new plan uh, with what I may end up doing for a work pickup at some point. Just got a lot going on right now. Uh, I overpaid for this thing guys. I had to pay 1200 bucks for it comes with the title uh, I've got a hundred bucks into it. If I could get my money back out of it I'd be happy this front one and that rear one that goes flat. Those are not my wheels and tires The wheels and tires that come with this thing. I think is a bare steely and another flat Okay, so two hold air two don't y'all's interested in it. Just shoot me an email Y'all probably thought I was playing I want to talk to y'all about merchandise real quick. One, someone is interested in this hubcap. Like I said, I gave the other one away to a good friend because he really liked it. Uh, I did not clean this thing up good, okay? It's still got some Oklahoma red dirt. That's what makes it so rare. Uh, it'll look sweet hanging on the wall. She's in rough shape, okay? So if you get this and you think it's going to be perfect, you're wrong. I wrote across the top, thanks for the support. When I write stuff, it's usually in all cap letters because that's how I talk. Three exclamation points. That's how you know it's from me. At the bottom, I did sign it, put in, this is the second signature or autograph I ever done, I guess. The first one's when we gave away that panel. It got a high bid of $1,000. So this thing's a smoking deal compared to it. On the back from Puddin's Fab Shop, 
And I just added 1964 Ford Will It Run video. That way, when someone goes to throw this out in 10 years or something, they'll know what video it was from as they chunk it in the trash. I don't know. I put this in the store at the beginning of this video, so hopefully it's gone by now. Let's just say I'll throw in one of each small item with it. So a keychain, an air freshener, a small sticker, and a large sticker, a little thing like that. I don't have t-shirts or we can do t-shirts, all right? Now let's talk about t-shirts. This is kind of a wild idea. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it at least once, all right? Today's Monday. Last Saturday, I should have uploaded a video explaining what I'm doing with this thing called a pre-order. Here's the deal, guys. I can keep guessing how many I need or I can run a pre-order for about two weeks, let you guys go ahead and order whatever size and design you want. That way we can tally all the numbers. I'll put an order in. They got about a month turnaround time. And then as we get them in, we'll send them out. I have no clue how many orders we're projecting to do. Depending on how many orders we get, depends on how quick I can get the stuff out to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna say, just go check out the other video. We'll talk about it more in there. So I made the damn video in the first place. If you're not worried about a deadline period, you just want to support the channel and get a t-shirt and you understand it could take two months and some change possibly, just go to www.puddingsfabshop.com and order what t-shirt you want. And I appreciate the continued support. You guys are the best and I mean it. I mean it to the point that I got more designs coming, I promise. One's already done, one's in the works as we speak. And another one's just sitting in my head waiting for him to get that one done where I can send him the other one. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna keep y'all some fresh ass merchandise coming. I hope you like t-shirts. It's coming, baby. We got some more stuff to open. Now, if you're gonna skip to the end of the video now, that's why I save this towards the end because you haters are gonna skip ahead. I'm just playing, I'll see y'all later. All right, get the hell out of here. Don't let the door hit you or the good Lord split you. If you do go to the end of the video, I hope I end up getting someone on that CB radio and y'all miss it for leaving. This is from Joe Box. You gotta love a good classic dual first name. Joe Bob's Garage, custom motorcycles. Put, I really enjoy the show. You've helped me get off my ass and work on my project, except when I'm sitting on my ass watching your show. That's okay, all right? It's really okay. I started my channel a few months ago, so I think a sticker swap is in order. Joe Bob, keep up the good work. If you have started a new channel, because I've had a few people ask me, all right? Consistency. Stay consistent, and I'll tell you guys, it don't matter how many contests and crap you participate in, because y'all don't realize I've been on here for over three years, and nobody's heard of me except for in the last four months. It comes down to your content. If you have good content, People will watch and the channel will grow. I got the nicest shout out ever from D-Boss Garage who's at half a million subscribers. Am I half a million? No. So getting on other people's channels ain't just a stairway to heaven, okay? Figure out what works for you guys that's good content and don't give up. Or do give up. That's up to you to decide, okay? I was to the point I was gonna give up because it wasn't worth my time or I was gonna knock a home run. And I'm just saying I'm batting, I don't know, baseball. I'm batting 400, all right? I don't know if that's good or bad. That is the thinnest, cutest, nicest, fine grit little file I ever have seen. Eugene sent us some files. Look at these little thin puppies. Eugene, you tired of points whipping me? <laughs> Appreciate the files, Eugene. I appreciate the stickers, Joe Bob. I don't think I told you thank you because I think I got going on a motivational speech. What in the science project we got going on here? Y'all know good and well. Well, two things. This is too fancy for this shop. I already know. You want me to replace this with this? Whatever. <laughs> I'm just playing. Not near as redneck. Uh, I feel like I'd need a damn lab coat to... Sp Next, I theorize if we spray Get Her Done 91 down the carburetor, it will run. If I am gonna use it, the damn sure gotta say Get Her Done 91. Boom! 
Now she's a bottle of some Get Her Done 91. Put them flames on there, that way you know we're coming in hot. That one's also from Eugene. Eugene's been on a roll of sending us some good stuff. We got all kinds of Amazon packages here. Oh, jalapeno meat stick, natural smoke flavor added, hickory nut gut meat. I'm starving, I didn't even eat lunch. Been out here making videos for y'all, working my ass off. You gotta tell me twice when it comes to a beef stick. Definitely taste the jalapeno. I like that. Yeah, buddy, from 12B, Georgia. I'm pretty sure y'all are gonna make me fat with beef jerky. I ain't mad about it. 12 of them babies. <laughs> Someone called it. Someone said 12,000 files were gonna show up. Look at this nice little set. Oh, I'll show you how to drop them. Oh, I'll show you how to drop those. All right, I'm putting these damn things down. No, no. Another file set. File this. Enjoy the content. Keep up the great work from Jeep Mark. Is it Jeep Mark or Jeep and Mark? I feel like Jeep and Mark sent us that before. Holy file set. <laughs> Ignition point file. I don't know who all these are from because I thought these were all bound up from the same person. Put in, watch you use that 50 foot long file. <laughs> watch you use that 50 foot long file in that old Ford pickup. Maybe this will help next time from Paul T. Loster. Sorry if I just butchered that last name. I don't know who all sent what files. Jeep and Mark, Jeep Mark, Paul, I got this one. Someone last time done sent one of these. So we're, we definitely, I don't, we got files, all right? We got five, we need a filing cabinet to file our files. If you get overwhelmed from too many files, just eat a beef stick, calm down. If you're one of the people who don't like mail time, would you like to file a complaint? <laughs> what in the, all right. We got all the flavors now, we got, Get her done 91, send it to heaven 87, straight out the gate 88, spank her on the hiney and give her some 90, too good to be true 92, let's get shitty 93, and whatever else kind of performance gasoline products you want to put in these. Enjoy these to make fueling your first start videos a little easier. Keep up the great videos dude, Scott Perry from Scott Perry. So is your name Scott Perry and you live in a town called Scott Perry? Get the front door out of here. You guys ain't gonna believe this. I'm just saying the files <laughs> and the old scientific lab bottles. The, is there an actual name for these? Wash bottle. And the wash bottles are about to have a competition. Enjoy your gift. Hope you can use these for your Get Her Done 91 brake cleaner on the way as well from Joe Hernandez. Is that what this is? Eek. On the way, hell, I think it's here. Nope, that says Tubbo Towels. Damn right. I can honestly say I've never tried these. I do like hand cleaners. Because y'all know good and well I only use the TKO hand wipes from Sweet Patina. If you'd like to get yours, you can use that promo code on the screen. Unless you send me something like Joe Hernandez just sent me, and we'll use the hell out of these things. I believe the name is Harris Pepper from New York. If it ain't, let me know. I'll go up there and whip ass for them giving me the wrong name. Harris called my local O'Reilly's, bought me a bag of towels. I don't even count how many there are because there's just, my professional opinion is a shit ton. That's a shit ton of towels right there. Leave these in your back pocket. They will turn your white t-shirts pink. We got a shit ton of WD-40, about 12 cans worth right there. <laughs> I'm about to lubricate every damn thing on this property. I'm just, I'm looking for something that moves just so I can spray it. 12 things of brake cleaner. 
12 cans of brake cleaning. Y'all know I go through that stuff quite a bit. What an awesome gift. I know this is a fun segment. I like having to come up with jokes on the spot on what y'all send because I don't know what you send. But guys, seriously, I appreciate it a ton. I think it's fun for the channel, but it does mean a lot to me that you guys support the channel by sending out stuff. Even if your only goal is to make my beer belly bigger, I can guarantee you I ain't drawing flames on every damn bottle y'all sent me. I'll be out here for three weeks. We got the old turd kind of cleaned up. She didn't clean up as good as I was hoping, but she ain't shabby, all right? Uh, I do think she's a decent truck for somebody. Maybe patch up the floor pans, put some brakes on it, set of wheels and tires, seat, and you got something to start. Well, you may want to put a gas tank in it. And then you got something to start driving around and working out your little bugs and everything else. Uh, yeah, she ain't bad. She ain't bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're interested in t-shirts, please participate in the pre-order. It's the quickest way to get everybody a t-shirt who wants one, I promise. No, I will not outsource my business. We're keeping it 100% in-house. Uh, that's part of it, all right? Help me help you. <laughs> I guess that's it. So, if you're on Instagram, I'm on there at Puddin' Stab Shop, and I will see you guys next time. But don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project, just like my t-shirt says, all right? You can pre-order one of those. <laughs> now, my project is, Ella said she wants to build a birdhouse, so damn it, we're going to build a birdhouse. I'll see you guys next time. I think that'll do her.